Hi, I'm Don, and this is The Hobbyist Geek. Welcome back, y'all. Today we are starting a new Metal Earth series. Today we are jumping into Lord of the Rings. We have all three of the pieces in Lord of the Rings. And my lord, am I looking forward to this. Now personally, I think Minas Tirith here is probably going to be my favorite. And I usually like to save the best for last when I'm doing the series. But, uh, Berador and Orthanc are so similar, they've got to be separated out. So, uh, we're going to do Orthanc first. Let's get Isengard taken care of. Then we'll go to Minas Tirith for the next video and Barad-dûr to finish it off with the Great Eye of Sauron. I'm a huge middle, uh, Lord of the Rings fan. Have been since I was a little, little, little child. And I read all the books. Um, and I have some personal attachment to it because The Return of the King was the first movie I ever took the woman that would become my wife to. And here we are 20 years later. I still can't figure out why she married me. But for the year of our 20th anniversary, I thought I'd do this to try and take us back a little bit, a little memory. So why don't we go ahead, we'll take a look at the packaging for Orthanc and we'll see what comes inside. Alrighty, here we are. Metal Earth Premium Series Orthanc. Uh, or the Tower of Isengard, however you want to call it. Um, and this product image is incredible. Obviously it's solid black, uh, which is appropriate for the movie. Uh, it's probably going to make things a little more difficult, uh, when you have solid black, uh, paint on here, it can make some of the slots and where the tabs are fitting difficult to see. Uh, but I am still looking forward to this. Uh, all of these little ledges and balconies. We've got some inset windows up here. All the spikes at the apex. This looks amazing. I can't wait to have it in hand. There's going to be a lot of repetition. I mean, you can tell right here. Lots of little pieces. They look a little bit rounded. And there are a ton of them. There's going to be a ton of repetition in this. Um, but you know, it's a tower. Can't really expect too much. Looks like we have three full sheets here. So, and oh my, look at all of those replicated little pieces. Tons of repetition coming our way. Um, it is a seven out of 10 difficulty with a total of 251 pieces. Ooh. I'm hoping I can get this done in one video. Um, uh, I don't know, we'll have to see. But uh, that seems awesome. Now here we've got Barador. Oh, there's a Metal Earth Sauron? I was looking online, I didn't see that. I'm gonna have to take a look and see if I can find him. And of course, Minas Tirith, which we will be getting to later. Awesome. All right, let's get this open. Let's see what's inside. Oh, right, and here is what comes in the packaging. We've got our three sheets of metal and we have two pages of instructions. Uh, the instructions look like your standard Metal Earth Fair. Nothing too big here, except uh, no instructions at all on page two here. So um, just looking at, I guess, three full pages of instructions. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Also, we've got uh, our pieces here. And I gotta tell you, in hand, these pieces look more brown than black. I mean, it's a very dark brown, but they do look more brown than black in hand. Uh, they do have that wonderful glitter effect of modern metal earth. Uh, and as mentioned earlier, Tons of little pieces that means replicated effort. But that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Uh, we do have a bit of a damage here. Um, 
but it looks like it's just the corner, not the actual piece itself. So we should be good there too. Um, and of course we can see approximately how tall the tower is going to be based on these pieces here. So this is going to be a nicely, uh, this is going to be a nice size piece. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, all right, well, there's not a whole lot more I can say here, so why don't I get some pieces out and we'll get started on this build.
Here it is, Metal Earth version of Orthanc, Tower of Isengard, Residence of Saruman the White. Uh, fully assembled and looking pretty cool, actually. 
Uh, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, and building this thing was a slog. It was an absolute slog. Uh, you can see I had to kind of move things around because it's so dark it just kind of sucks all the light out. So basically got this against a wall now. Um, but uh, and we'll pull it in for a closer view here in a minute. But basically uh, the tower's got four main sides and each of those sides is assembled identically. Uh, and it's just repetition, repetition, repetition. I'd say 95% of this build is just repetition. And it gets boring. Uh, it's not hard, just boring. Uh, let's pull this thing in and show you some detail. Okay. So obviously we have the crown here, which actually just looks spectacular and was frankly the most interesting part to build. Um, you can see all of the spikes along the top here. And I mean, there, there's six per side. So 24 spikes. Then you've got all these little spikes. And these were by far the, the, the hardest part of the build um, because you're effectively folding a piece of metal and then trying to shove it through a very small, thin slot and then doing a twist, uh, several twists actually, while keep trying to keep everything aligned. Um, it was so tight, it rubbed the paint off on a lot of these. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a lot of silver showing because the paint got rubbed off because it's just too tight a fit. It's, it's just too tight a fit. The windows are not actually inset, they're just holes. Um, but uh, that's okay. You know, I can deal with that. <clears throat> um, all of these ledges, okay, again, just same thing over and over and over again. Um, these little detail points here, right? There's 36 of them. And then there's more detail points down here. It's another 36, and they're all assembled the same way. So that's 72 little squares that you have to put on all right and then you've got these things here and there are 16 per side um all assembled the same way uh, four times over uh so it's just a lot of repetition um not sure what i could have expected from a tower but <laughs> I don't know. I was just hoping for a little variety, but it's there's there's no none to be found. There is, however, this right here that's like the staircase or ramp going into the structure, which is cool. Uh, no base of any kind, so it's just a hollow tube. I think this really would have benefited from a base too, not only to help with the structure, but. Uh, you know, they could have added some additional details, you know, like uh, the water wheel that Saruman uh, impaled himself on. Something like that. Um, but, you know, it, it is what it is. I mean, there's not too much that really can be said. And a lot of that detail, it's hard to see on camera, but... Uh, in real life, it's act, it, it is quite visible, um, especially if you got light going onto it. But it is very, very dark. It does really just kind of suck the light out. Uh, let me pull something out so I can give you a little bit of a size comparison. All right, I really don't have anything to equate to this. So here is the Premium Series Metal Earth uh, Mandalorian next to it. So you can see this is quite a tall structure here. Um, uh, it, I mean, not too, too big, but, you know, definitely does uh, extend well above these, stand, well, these premium figures here. Um, it's cool. It really is. Uh, I'm not sure what I really expected here. I mean, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's a nice replica of Orthanc. I just feel like maybe a little let down or maybe... A little blase given the build was so boring. 
but it's a nice piece. Uh, definitely a good piece. Anyway, that's about all I've got for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment below. And I will see you next time. Have a great day.